So that's the first game of Five Nights at Freddy's, huh? Five Nights at Freddy's, my favorite childhood game. Joe, that's funny. You make it sound like you weren't already an old man playing this game. You're laughing now, but you won't be when your little girl starts screaming for my help. I don't want to be screaming at all. I don't like getting scared. This series would be awesome. Subscribe to Top Presidents. This is only night one. Let's see how well you play. Where the hell are we? This looks so different to Sister Location and Pizzeria Simulator. On the left is Bonnie, then Chica, then Freddy. Oh, so there's more animals now. They are still called animatronics bushy wushy. This place looks like the crusty, dusty, musty Joe Biden's crib. So old, dark, and creepy. What's gotten into you, Donnie? Did Melania not give you enough action last night? You're just jealous you have a malfunctioned dong. You fat oompa. Loompa. I can't wait when Chica eats you alive. Chica, that fat orange chicken. Are you sure you should be insulting Chica that way, Donnie? I mean... Chica isn't that fat and hasn't turned orange. Don't worry, by the time he's roasted, he would be more burnt than Obama. Chica is a she. Boney has disappeared. Did you call him Boney because you are hard right now, Barack? I swear you orange Oompa Loompa. Is Bonnie not Boney? Okay, gotcha. So Bonnie the Bunny? Yep, that's how it was named. How many rooms does this place even have? What the heck even a camera in the toilet? That's the worst ever design of a house. You know what the toilet and Sleepy Joe Biden have in common? What do you want now, you fat pumpkin seed? They are both full of shit. I will pick up the toilet scrubber and shove it down your throat. I swear there's never a moment you guys never get in a fight. Yeah, anyways, let me just move on. Bushy wushy, you should save the power. Bro, it's night one. These animatronics won't get that crazy. Still, it's a good habit to also keep the door open to save power. Bonnie only appears from the left side. Nah, Bushy, be the first alpha dog to complete the night and surviving a full 5 a.m. That actually would be epic. I am actually gonna do it. 4 a.m. and only 7% Bushy. No one I knew has ever died in night one. Don't worry. I plan on playing night two today as well. Look at that animal staring at the wall like an NPC. It's Bonnie or Freddy, I can't tell. Either way, that was a literal NPC staring at us. Is that really your strategy to play this night, Bushy Wushy? Just wait and see Joe. The Giga Chat is coming in to finish 5 a.m. with no power. That would never work out for later nights, Bushy. This game is glitching. Nothing happening at 0%. Half a percent will also show up as 0%. Or uh, what's happening? You're out of power, Bushy. Let's go to 6 a.m. already. So we are the first ever people to complete 5 a.m. on no power. Uh, I am actually scared. Are the creatures gonna eat me? I warned you to conserve your power, Bushy. But it's just night one, so you should pass it no problem. Freddy will now swallow you for being an old farm man. Joe, why do you get so creepy every time you open your damn mouth? Nice one, you finally won Bushy. Yes, let's go. Oh, fuck me. Freddy's at the door. He's gonna swallow your ass next. Why the fuck is the screen black now? Nothing's happening. Joe, I thought you were an expert. You scaring us for no reasons you- <laughs> What the fuck? You can die in night one. That cow dung covered teddy bear looks like a fucking psychopath. That bear was actually super scary. Holy shit, I got goosebumps everywhere. Let me play this round now to save us from the embarrassments. Joe, if you don't know already, you already are an embarrassment to the people of our country. I took shitty economy from you, Trump, and I'm making it great again. Totally, you made it better by starting World War III. Boys, let's not dive into that. We don't want another video demonetized. Who the hell even is is calling us at this hour. He's the phone guy. He will play an important role later on to give us clues of the game. We are only on night one. Are you sleep talking again, Joe? No, Trumpy Rumpy. If you dive deep into the lore of this game, you would understand everything that is happening. Who asked? You did, Humpity Dumpity Trump the Rump. Calm down, boys. So what even is this place? Like I said, this is Joe's crusty, musty, dusty crib. Bite of 87, that's a very deep theory to explore. Great Joe is talking about biting little kids now. Yes, it actually is, Barack. The bite of 87 is a mysterious... Boring! What the hell was that? I said you were boring Joe Biden. I'm trying to explain some lore here. But I have a more interesting question to ask. Fine, go ahead, Trump. Let's get your question over with. Who in the world is listening to a phone guy from clearly a scam call center in the middle of the night? Once again, the phone guy is the guy who gives you instructions, game mechanics, and hints some lore to you. This is rigged. He's not even in the building. That's beyond the point, Trump. It's a 10-year-old game. It can't be perfect. So like I was saying before, the bite of 87 is... So this place is indeed Joe Biden's crib, huh? No, this game is set in Chuck E. Cheese's-esque pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Got it, Trump? So it's a haunted pizzeria. Sounds like it. The rooms and set up all links together. Now will you let me finish? Yeah, go ahead. Trump and you? Whatever. My brain is still processing how disgusting this business is set up. The bite of 87 is a big incident that happened during a security guard ship. This business is messed up. Oh my god, I give up. Trump, now we can learn the lore from Joe. If I had to run this place, it would have at least 1,000 security guards, 100 armored tanks, and 10 nuclear bomb ready to fight these animatronics. This sounds like a very Republican, actually a very communist business. That's really messed up. I don't want that teddy bear, that rabbit, or that chicken anywhere near me. I don't think they would want to go anywhere near you. You could possibly break their metal suits. Yeah, we can't lose you, Donnie. 
It's okay, Donnie. I've checked the left and I have checked the right door and they are still nowhere. I swear if that chicken gets anywhere near me or scares me, I will rip out his bib and shove it up his ass. I never knew you were gay, Trumpy Rumpy. Chica is a she and the bib is the only clothes she has on her. And just letting you know, Chica will be out this night, so be cautious. Okay, Joe, and to you, Obama, you are literally gay for marrying Michael. Michelle, not Michael. And second, I don't go around trying to rip other girls' shirts, you fat orange creep. I did not know that bird was a female. It's a chicken, Donnie. Either way, they flap their wings and end up in deep frying pans. You eat a chicken, but I don't think people eat birds. Ask Kim Jong-un. I saw him eating a deep fried pigeon. Now, how did we end up getting Kim Jong-un into our game convos? If he was here, I could feast on that chubby piece of meat while I wait for the animals to fuck Joe Biden up the ass. Every time I think you can't say anything stupid or you surprise me otherwise. That's why I had to take your place as president because you doubt your capabilities. Admit the truth, Obama. I'm smarter, I'm richer, I'm sexier, and I'm stronger than your bony ass. And yet you only made one term. That's because Joe the crooked bum rigged the election. Joe and Baraki. What's up, Georgie? Anything wrong? Just let it happen. Let Trump have his way. You're right. I think that's the most logical thing to do right now. Just like losing the election, Trump will learn it the hard way. Just wait, Joe. Just you wait till the next election. All I ask if you don't cry when I beat you. We will let the people decide who wins or lose. No point us fighting about something that doesn't exist. Come on, guys. Put it together. There's only two more hours left to go. They need to have 4K cameras. Uh, holy shit, is that Bonnie in the hallway? Hurry up and shut the goddamn wall, Joe Biden. It's okay. He will peek at the door so the light will be enough. I'm pretty sure that was Freddy. We don't need any more Mexicans. Mexican immigrants here. Oh my God, Donnie, you should apologize to the viewers right now. They come here as criminals and just like animatronics, they kill us. So close the wall now. Of course you would be scared of losing your precious and great body. You might be mixing up your speeches, Trump. This isn't a campaign rally, it's a horror game. But if we had a wall, that Charlie the Chocolate Factory looking teddy bear won't kill us like that. That's Freddy, not Charlie, and I don't think a wall's gonna stop him. You really should start getting your animatronics names correct, Donnie. I've always said we need a good defense strategy and building a wall would solve of everything. Stop it with your wall, Donnie. Did you see the comments on how many people hated your wall's comments? It really takes three of us to disagree to stop Trump. There's footsteps now. I close the door. Finally, you close that goddamn wall. You should be the expert at identifying a wall from a door. Joe's cocaine, demented and sleepy crooked friends are here and we're not going to survive another hour. That's why I put down the wall to stop them. Even you now, Joe, is confused with wall and door. Oh my bad, too much Trump speech is around me. Whatever happens, we need to stay safe in here. I don't want to see that r gag gag scaring animal again. You mean Freddie Bushy? Yes, that I don't want to see his face ever again. Finally, someone agrees with me. Lock all the doors, close the walls, and call the U.S. military for some backup. What the fuck did any of you saw the camera? It's like a yellow bird with a long beak. Her name is Chica. Go to the camera. I want to see that ugly bitch again. Why is her mouth so big and wearing a party looking bib? Because she's gay. What the fuck? When will this bear ever go away? Joe, hurry up, close that door before we get fisted up the ass by a teddy bear. This is just night one. I don't think animatronics would come at us from two directions. I literally died a few minutes ago. Because you used too much power. Oh shit, Chicka is right at the right door. If you had closed that metal wall when I told you a minute ago, your heart rate wouldn't have increased that much. You are literally puffing. If you closed the door too early, you would end up like Bush and run out of power. That was just just some inexperience, bro. Why are you scared, Joe? You literally have 32% power and it's the final hour. Habits, Donnie, habits. Later nights you would be begging if you had more power. So are you saying the power somehow magically runs out faster? Like, is that how the game is designed? Sounds like hyperinflation to me. I'm pretty sure the power depletes at the same rate, but Foxy will start to come out next night. Who the hell is Foxy? Is it a fox? Once we get to night two, you will see Bushy Wushy. Let's go. How did I even end up with 25% power remaining? Because you are our current president who knows exactly how to play a kid's horror game.